going into show number 43, and we're going to start out with some weight lifting exercise, exercises, plural. Uh, some time back, we did a posture, which was the crow. And if you missed that, we need to kind of get you into, into that mode. So we're going to go through it once just quickly to get the whole idea here. Your feet are close together and you're up on your tiptoes and you're sitting on your heels. You fold forward, you bring your shoulders forward, bring your knees behind your shoulders and bring your chest in fairly close to the floor. When you do that, then the elbows are going to be bent. If you do not bend your elbows, you will not be able to do the posture because the objective is to be able to lean forward and put your shin bones on the back of your arms and lift your body weight up. So you bring your hands in quite close to your feet in order to transfer the center of gravity from the feet to your hands. Elbows bent, lean forward, come up on one, and then come up on the other. And find your balance. And come back down again. Now that is the crow. Now we're going to, and I'm, I'm surprised I probably end up with bruises from last time too. Now we're going to do the side crow, and that's going to transfer your weight sideways. In order to do this posture, you come back up again onto your tiptoes. You turn your body over to one side. Bring your hands in very close to your feet. Please watch now. The elbow this elbow, the back elbow here, is into the hip joint. I'm really bringing my hand in close enough to my feet so that that elbow is pressing into the hip joint. The arm in front, that elbow is pressing into the side of my calf muscle. So bring the hands in close to your feet. Now you're going to slowly lean your weight over your hands and you're gonna to have to slide your feet away from your body. So lean forward. Begin to slide your feet out. It's kind of hard on carpeting, but ease forward and lift up. Lift your feet up. You might find a little bit of a bouncy back and forth. Doesn't matter. Just keep working. Come back up. Over the elbows. Lean forward. Slide your feet out. Pick up. Come up and change. Going to the other side, bring your elbows in close. You've got to get your hands in close to your feet, otherwise it's not going to work. You can't, you can't do this out here and think that you'll be able to transfer it. You've got to bring it in close. Breathe softly, get the elbows in to your hip joint, other elbow into your calf, Lean over your hands, slide your feet out, slide out, lift up, pick up, come up. It's always easier the second time, so let's try it again. Going on the other side, hands in very, very close to your feet. Lift up, come onto your elbows, slide away, slide your feet away. Lift up, coming up, uh, and onto the other side. Up, elbows in, very close. You might want to put a big soft pillow if, you, if you're afraid of crashing on there. Don't ever worry about losing your balance or falling. It's all part of it. Bring your hands in, lean forward, slide your feet out, slide out, lift up. Lift up and down. Good. Now inhale through the nose. <sighs> Rub the heels of your hands. Work around your wrists. Weight bearing poses are so important for preventing arthritis, for bringing a lot of circulation into those joints. Really, really important. Now, coming on to your back, stretch out. 
Extend your arms out, shoulder level. Bend both of your knees. Bring the right knee into your chest. Go into a pelvic tilt. Slowly straighten your leg up and then push the heel of your foot to the ceiling, stretching through your calf and through your hamstring. Push firmly, tighten your stomach and lower your leg. Make your stomach tight, bend the knee and slide the foot up. Left knee into the chest, leg straight up, push the heel toward the ceiling, pull the toe toward you, slowly lower, slide the foot up. All right, now both knees into the chest, legs straight up, push the heels toward the ceiling, pull the toes toward your face, lower your legs slowly. The important thing here is to keep your lower back flat on the floor. Don't let it arch up. If your back arches off the floor, bend your knees immediately to protect your back. But if you can keep the lower back flat, legs down, whoa, that'll work your stomach muscles. And bend your knees. Right knee into the chest, legs straight up, push the heel toward the ceiling, pull the toes toward your face, lower your leg, bend your knee, left knee in, leg up, push the heel toward the ceiling, a deep quality stretch now, feel it, feel it at the back of your heel, the back of your calf, and lower, bend, all right, both knees into the chest, tighten up your stomach, this is going to give you a healthier, stronger back, and stronger abdominals. Push the heels toward the ceiling and your toes toward your face. Keep the pelvic tilt, slowly lower your legs. If your back arches up on you, you need to bend your knees to protect your back. Slide your feet up. Now, right knee into the chest, legs straight up, push the heel up, Pull the toe toward your face. Concentrate now. Feel what you're doing. Doing several repetitions is the only way you're really going to learn this and the way it's going to really benefit your body. Bend your knees. Slide the foot in. Left knee into the chest. Leg straight up. Push the heel toward the ceiling. Push. Stretching through your calf. Slowly lower. Ease your leg down. Bend the knee, both knees into the chest, legs straight up, push the heels toward the ceiling, a really solid pelvic tilt, keep the stomach muscles tight, come down slowly, slowly keep the lower back flat on the floor, if it arches up on you, you need to bend your knees, ease down, feel the major abdominus on that, now bring your arms back and lengthen out. Just push the heels of your feet away from your body, stretching through the calves. Tighten your kneecaps, tighten your quads, flatten your stomach, lengthen your waist, expand your ribs, stretch through the shoulder joints, elbow joints, wrists, and middle fingers. Lengthen your body and let go. That feels so good. Bend both knees, put your feet flat on the floor, stomach tight, a solid pelvic tilt. Push your feet as far away from your body as your body will allow, keeping your toes on the floor. Arms up, interlock your thumbs, sit up. Try to keep your feet on the floor. Put the soles of your feet together. Lift and tilt, lead with your chin. Stretch out through that lumbar back. Rotate that pelvic girdle over two sitting bones, over two ball bearings, as it were. Try to pull your head down to your feet. Lift up your head, line your neck up to your spine. Come up into the upright position. And again, inhale deeply through the nose and out through your mouth. Inhale. Ah. 
That is wonderful. Please be so aware of your breath. Uh, you just can't imagine once you are conscious of your breathing that you can control your breath, that you can meter it out, that you can inhale deeply and exhale slowly. It just takes so much tension out of your body. It is amazing. Now, we're going to work on your shoulders, and I want to talk to you again a little bit about mental attitudes, whatever goes on subconsciously. Uh, you might think I'm a Pollyanna. I'm not. That I'm not at all. I'm, I'm a very realistic human being. But just be aware, wherever you go, just today, just try it today and see if it, see if it works. Sprinkle sunshine. That's all. I mean, some people want to just carry their dark cloud around and pop it on everybody. Or you can go around and have a smile and be pleasant. Just try it. It's awfully good for your health. I'm serious. It is really good for your health. So find the good in every day. Hold on to your shoulders. All right. Now, you're going to bring your elbows back. Inhale. Elbows back. Elbows back. Chin up. Bring your shoulder blades together. Try to squeeze a lemon between your shoulder blades. Exhale. Bring your elbows in. Elbows in. Drop your head. Tuck your chin into your chest. Lift up your head. Inhale. Elbows out. Way out. Way out. Squeeze a lemon. Drop your chin back. Exhale. Lift your head, elbows in, together, drop your chin, inhale, pick up your head, elbows up and back, breathe in deeply, open up through the breastbone, squeeze the lemon between your shoulder blades, exhale, elbows in, need to really work through the upper back and shoulder area. You don't need to be caving in all the time. Drop your head. Inhale, pick up your head. Elbows up, arms back. A lot of these exercises for your upper back can be found in the upper body chair exercises video and in the stretch and de-stress video. They're both really great for taking care of a lot of this tension that we all carry around the shoulders and neck. Tuck your chin in, round out. Inhale, pick up your head, elbows back, stretch, and exhale, let go, and bye-bye. To purchase a copy of Ready, Set, Stretch, Program 012-001, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.